from Seeking Stars crew right here at the Comedy Showcase. And now he works clubs throughout the Southwest. How about a nice hand for Houston's biggest up and coming comic, Mr. Ralph May? Give it up. Hello, how are you? Alright. Ooh. That's good. We gotta get better than that, folks. I just ate buffet. Come on. How you doing? Alright, alright. Good deal. Give another hand for Laura Green and uh, Mr. John Ryan. Do a fine job for you. Like John Ryan said, my name is Ralph May, and a few of you may know me. I'm the guy on the overpass with the cardboard sign that says, We work for food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working son of a bitch, Anna, folks. <laughs> Hell yeah, I think next week I'll go incorporate it. What do you think? <laughs> now, that's not my real job. I'm a, I'm a former male exotic dancer, totally true. Uh, put your dollar bills away, ma'am. I am retired, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and you stop winking at me. I'm not talking to you, ma'am. It's this guy you're with. You stop winking at me, okay? No, I tell you, I used to make real good money being a male dancer. Yeah, I really did. Women come up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's twenty dollars. Just get the hell off the damn stage. <laughs> yeah, I was a chocolate Chippendale, and I did reinforced table dances. It's good to be here. John didn't mention this, but I am from Arkansas, and I'll be taking a donation later. Thank you very much. And uh, and being from Arkansas, of course, you had to vote for in the last election, right? Yeah, Bill Clinton. Just for the fact that I wanted him out of our state. <laughs> free at last, free at last. <laughs> See you later, man. Don't forget to take that bitch Hillary with you neither, all right? Don't forget that ugly ass kid y'all made, okay? See, I got a theory, folks. My theory is you can say anything to anybody at any time about anything as long as you cover it up with love. Like, Mr. Footlocker manager, piece of shit, shirt wearing, got that at Kmart, ain't got no ass. What are the cheap ass shoes you wear? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> isn't that great, man? Man, isn't that something? Like looking at this guy, Mr. 90210, sitting right up here up front. Yeah, piece of shit. Couldn't get a date, probably dating his hands and I. <laughs> Love you. Isn't that great, man? I mean, I want everyone tomorrow morning to go into your boss's office, just go, pow! You suck. Love you. Great, can you just want to do that? I mean, just think of the power, man. Like, you got somebody you don't really like. Hey, man, you suck. Get the fuck out of here. Love you. You can say it to anybody. But old Bill Clinton, man, he wants to allow gays in the military. Think that's a good idea, folks? Hello, y'all think that's a good idea, folks? You see, a lot of people don't like that idea because they don't think they're, they're tough enough. See, I totally disagree. I think you got to be one tough son of a bitch to take a dick up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I cry when I get constipated, huh? <laughs> I tell you what, it'd give a hold of me the word drill instructor, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I bet we'd have volunteers to fall on that grenade. <laughs> Man, that's scary, huh? Oh, if there are any homosexuals in here, uh, love you. <laughs> By the way, that's a figure of speech. Get out of hand, folks. On talk shows, man, last week on Geraldo, they had one. Neo Nazi lesbians for the metric system. Next on Geraldo. <laughs> what? Man, the show was these people want to kill Geraldo. Next on Donahue. Sign me up, man. Or this other show, they had Sally Jesse Raphael. Y'all seen that show before, folks? If you haven't seen it, they had an 87 year old stripper on that show. 87 years old. God damn. Hell, you thought I looked bad naked. <laughs> <laughs> they showed portions of her act. It was like... And she died halfway through her act, right? <laughs> And they brought the paramedics out. Clear! <laughs> I know what you wonder, buddy. Hey, Ralph, is she wearing a G-string? <laughs> I don't know. It depends. <laughs> well, 
We're talking about politics a little bit. I'm a, I'm a big sports fan. We got any sports fans in here? There's a few of us left after the oil shit. <laughs> Man, I'm a big sports fan. And being a sports fan, here's what I wanted for president, ladies and gentlemen. I think Nolan Ryan would have been one hell of a good president. Can I get some backup on that? There's a few of us still out here. The reason I think he'd be a good president is because I want the president to be able to throw out the opening pitch of baseball at 95 goddamn miles an hour. It was like, <laughs> yeah, take that and back to Congress asshole. <laughs> wouldn't that be great, man? And he wouldn't have his bitch wife out there throwing no baseball neither, man. Uh, skip it. You Cubbies fans know what I'm talking about. Other people going, huh? Well, let's see what else we got going on. Man, our religion, man. But sports kind of goes with religion. You know that John 3.16, everybody holds up at every game? You know what that is? And the Lord so loved the world <laughs> that he gave them the Oilers to play against anybody else. <laughs> if you have any Oilers fans in here, look. Oh, man. I tell you, I'm a very religious uh, family. I come from a very religious family. We're half Catholic. You want from, people from Alvin, good to have you here. I'll slow that down for you. Man, I got studying religion. You know that the Mormons or Morons, however you want to say it, they think the Garden of Eden is somewhere in Missouri. Missouri? Man, hell, everyone knows it's in Arkansas. So. Oh, I'm sorry if I offended any Mormons, but you're not supposed to be in here. So take your little bicycle riding white salamander ass the hell out of here, all right? Yeah, cuckoo could chew on the walrus. Hit the goddamn road. And then, man, I tell you, being a comic, I, I never thought I'd have anything, but I had a religious experience. I was coming back from Las Vegas, Nevada, okay? And, uh, and that's, if you haven't been there from here and driven it, that's a 25-hour drive. I drove it straight through without stopping. Wow. About hour 16, I saw Jesus Christ hitchhiking. Yeah. Coincidentally enough, I dropped him off in Waco. So. Man, that guy's a nut, man. Says he wants to talk to God. Okay. Talk to God all you want to now, buddy. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> and then there's those nuts who broke in. Y'all see that? There's nuts who broke into the, to the compound. You know who those guys were? Amway salesmen. Yeah, we heard y'all need some soap. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Man, I tell you, when I was a, I college we tend to travel a lot, in case you didn't know this. I was in Oklahoma. I don't mean to brag. And uh, I was watching TV, because you know I don't do a whole lot of jogging. And on the television, I didn't know this, but they have Indian television stations, folks, in Oklahoma. And they had television commercials that were geared for Indians. I swear to God, they had one commercial for Preparation H. It was like, I have hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that won't go away. I have hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that burn and itch all day. <laughs> I got a TV in my ass. Don't be a city boy, use Preparation H. <laughs> Y'all going, huh? Well, we got some birthdays in here, and, you know, I think that's great, but y'all get, remember getting shitty gifts for your birthday? Ever get shitty gifts for your birthday? Yeah, you liars. <laughs> you ain't saying nothing because the person who gave you that shitty gift's probably here, huh? <laughs> like, no, man, we got great gifts. <laughs> cha 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 <laughs> Man, here's what I got for my last birthday, man. I got... Four clock radios. Four. And I got eight bottles of cologne. Eight. What's my family trying to tell me? Hey, wake up, you stinking son of a bitch. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you over tilting. <laughs> but man, I found out that, you know, women, okay, well, gentlemen, women don't want, when you buy them gifts, okay, they don't want candy, okay, just makes them fat, all right? They don't want roses. They just wilt and die. You know what they want? Jewelry. Jewelry, right? I got one woman down here go, well, I'll take a Visa card, no problem. <laughs> but in case you had not know this, this is what men want, okay? And I think you all know what we want, don't you? Yeah, you do. And to that, I wrote a little song. And ladies, if you know the words, hum along. 
And remember, it's good for your skin. One, two, three. Yeah, skip it. Hold me, hold me, get down on your knees and blow me, blow me. Let me hear you say, ah, 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 ah. Oh, some people over here going, and this lady probably knows the second verse, don't you? <laughs> well, folks, you've been a crowd, so have I. Thank you very much for coming out to the comedy show. Today. Oh, man.